Here's a live look now, 195 at 114, and we now have a date for when RIDOT hopes to have those third bypass lanes open. Alex Torres Perez joins us now with that and the changes Providence is debating to some of its downtown streets to help the eastbound traffic. Alex? Well, Mike, there are two big changes that the city is proposing. The first, putting a weight limit on the detour route to limit the amount of trucks driving through, and the second, eliminating bike lanes on South Water Street to add a lane for drivers to get on the bridge, which is causing some debate. Chris Martin bikes to work when he can to skip the traffic caused by the Washington Bridge shutdown. It's, it's kind of tough uh, in the middle of the winter. Before, it would take him anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour in traffic to get to work from Barrington, but with biking. And it's been a consistently reliable 33 to 35 minute ride. However, the city of Providence is debating whether or not to shut down the bike lanes off South Water Street the final link between the East Bay bike path and downtown Providence, which the Providence Streets Coalition says will be counterproductive as they expect more people to start biking as temperatures get warmer. We just don't think it will work. The backup we know is on the bridge, right? And widening the funnel to the, to the bottleneck is, like, is very unlikely to have any real um, reductions in travel times. The Providence Committee on City Property is also looking at an ordinance amendment to place weight limits on the Washington Bridge detour route, which Mayor Brett Smiley previously pushed for to keep trucks from the area. But if you're an 18-wheeler that's trying to get from Massachusetts to Connecticut, there is no reason for you to detour down Angel Street and down Gano Street. It is tearing our streets apart. The amendment would add a $200 penalty for those trucks with exemptions for state and city trucks and deliveries. The city council will have to pass the ordinance for a second time for it to become a law. And the mayor's office says they plan to implement several changes to alleviate and reduce traffic in the coming weeks. In the meantime, RIDOT is also working to expand those bypass lanes on the highway to help with that traffic flow, and that's expected to open by April 22nd. Reporting live in studio, I'm Alex Torres-Perez, 12 News.